Yes, it's 2022, and I still want games ported to the Nintendo Switch system. This time, I'm talking about Marvel Snap. If you've been on TikTok or literally any platform, you've probably seen an ad for Marvel Snap. You might even see an ad on this video. Now, I must admit that I was not too sure of this game when I first saw the ads because I'm not a huge mobile gamer and I don't really like how they usually monetize their games. However, I do enjoy some card games and I love Marvel, so I thought I'd check it out. Now, if you don't know what Marvel Snap is, it is Marvel's collectible card game. Now, what makes it different from other card games is it is not a back and forth between players. You get to play your hand simultaneously as your opponent. Now, there is some strategy involved where you have to try to predict your opponent's moves, but I do feel like it is more approachable than the other card games. With this being a mobile game, I was worried about the monetization. However, everything you can buy with real money is cosmetic only. They have a battle pass and you can buy variants of cards, but you don't have to spend any money on packs or cards themselves. Now, this video is not about Marvel Snap's gameplay. It's about me wanting it on the Nintendo Switch, but I wanted to give a little bit of background for context. As soon as I started playing Marvel Snap, I thought to myself, this would be perfect on the Nintendo Switch. First of all, it's a mobile game, so there's not a lot of things going on that would make it run poorly on the Nintendo Switch. It runs perfectly fine on my iPhone, and that is the biggest complaint for a lot of these ports that come to the Nintendo Switch is because they don't run well. However, this is a mobile game, so it should run just fine. I also believe that this would look really good on the Nintendo Switch, especially in handheld mode on the Nintendo Switch OLED. That screen would work perfectly for all the bright colors and just what this game has to offer. Ports that usually come to the Nintendo Switch have to accommodate for its power, so it gets a little blurry and the graphical fidelity is just not there. It's not as good as it looks on other platforms. However, with Marvel Snap, since it is a mobile game, I don't think they would have to sacrifice any of the graphical fidelity to make it look great. And like I said, I would love to see this on the Nintendo Switch OLED. Another huge complaint that people usually have for the Nintendo Switch is its online functionality. Now, Marvel Snap does not have a high action-packed gameplay mechanic like a first-person shooter or even a game like Super Smash Bros. where there's stuff happening at all times. Both players make their choices and then it comes together. The Nintendo Switch Online would easily be able to handle that. Not to mention this is a free-to-play game, so you wouldn't even need to have the Nintendo Switch Online to be able to play online if this would come to the system. Now, we all know that the Marvel IP is a juggernaut and it really does not need Nintendo to sell its games. However, Nintendo and Marvel have had partnerships in the past, most recently, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, that was a Nintendo Switch exclusive that came out in 2019. Now, that game sold over a million copies, so I'm sure Marvel is happy with that partnership that they had with Nintendo. They are also bringing Midnight Suns to the Nintendo Switch, which is coming to all current gen platforms, and I doubt that they believe that the Nintendo Switch version will be the best selling version, so they must have been happy with that partnership in order to continue to support the platform. Or it could just be it's Marvel and they could sell whatever the heck they want. Now the Nintendo Switch already has at least one digital card game in Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. I think it was supposed to get the Elder Scrolls card game, but I don't believe it ever came to the platform. Not really sure what happened there, but there is an audience that would play a digital card game. I actually really enjoyed the Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel on the Nintendo Switch. Yeah, it didn't run perfectly, but it was playable and I had a good time with it. We've already had mobile games on the Nintendo Switch. There's Ocean Horn, there's Guardian Tales, and a few others. So these have been proven to work on the system and I think the Nintendo Switch would be the perfect platform to put them on as opposed to the other platforms such as PlayStation and Xbox because the Nintendo Switch has the handheld mode and these mobile games will just work better in handheld because it would be like playing on a large phone. This game isn't only on mobile devices, it's also on Steam. You can link your accounts through Google and play on the same account with the same decks, the same account level. Everything has cross progression and it works pretty well. So I'm thinking that they might have plans to bring it to other platforms in the future like PlayStation, Xbox, and hopefully, if they see this video, the Nintendo Switch. For some odd reason, they didn't include Steam Deck support though, so I don't know what the point of that thing is. They also didn't change the UI for the Steam version, so it looks like you're just playing a mobile game 
on Steam. The B-roll of this video will probably be the Steam version because it's just easier to capture that way. So you'll be able to see that they did not really change it to look like a landscape view of a video game, which I hope if the game gets more popular, it progresses more, gets put onto other platforms, that they would actually update the UI specifically for those platforms to make it look a little bit cleaner. I mean, it's not horrible, but it does just look like you're playing a mobile game on Steam. Now I'm gonna be honest, I made this video because I've been playing this game nonstop on my phone and I really wanted to come to the Nintendo Switch. I think it would be a perfect fit. It would be easy to port a mobile game to the Switch. We've seen it done before. People love Marvel. I want it. Tell them, let them know in the comments below that you want it. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new and I'll talk to y'all next time.